In this video, I'm going to talk about how I can now use AirPods with my Sony FX6. Here's the story. Before using AirPods with my Sony FX6, I've been using these Sennheiser HD25 headphones, and I really like the sound of these headphones. They're really good for monitoring the audio on set, but the one thing that I really didn't like about these headphones is the wire. I really didn't like being connected to the FX6 and if I needed to step out from behind the camera, if I was doing an interview on a tripod, I'd then have to take my headphones off and then go over and move the light, change the battery, move uh, the lapel on the talent and then I'd go back to the camera and then I'd have to put the headphones back on again. It sounds like a little thing and it is, but it was just one of those little annoyances that I had when using a wired headphone with my Sony FX6. I also do use a cine saddle quite a bit when I'm getting handheld shots or trying to be as mobile as possible when shooting my video projects. And having the setup with the cine saddle and the FX6 and these headphones, whenever I wanted to put them on or take them off, I needed to use two hands and I didn't really wanna take both of my hands off the FX6 when it's resting on the cine saddle. I know the chances are low, but the FX6 could fall out of the cine saddle and then onto the ground and then break and then I don't have a camera to use. So I just really didn't want to take that risk. So whenever I wanted to try to put on my headphones, I'd have to try to use one hand to put them on. And it's not really efficient and it's not really that fun to try to put on. And then when I take them off, it's easy enough to take it off with one hand, but then putting it back on is the annoying part. And I'd find myself needing to take my headphones off whenever I'm wanting to talk to talent or talk to producers. And these annoyances just really made me think, gee, it'd be really good just to be able to use my AirPods with my Sony FX6. And this past week on Facebook, I saw someone post in one of the FX6 groups that they were wanting to find a solution for Bluetooth audio. And I clicked onto the comments and I saw someone suggest the AirFly as a solution for being able to use Bluetooth headphones, more specifically the AirPod Pro generation one. So I had a quick look on Amazon and I found the product that I was wanting to purchase. There are a few different versions and I ended up getting the Pro version and the very next day, thanks to Amazon Prime, I had this item in my hand ready to test out to then be able to use on a project the very next day and be able to give my first impressions in this video. So my first impressions are, it does work and it is usable, but keep watching to hear a few different things that could be a deal breaker for you. Pairing the AirFly with my AirPods was a simple enough process. However, you do need to make sure that you have charge in the case for your AirPods. At the time when I was first trying to do the pairing, I had no charge in the case. So that did make the process a little bit longer and a little bit more annoying. But after I did have some charge in the case, I was then easily able to connect the two devices. And there are instructions included with the device. So the process was easy to follow. So this is what the AirFly looks like when it's plugged into the Sony FX6. As you can see, it does dangle a little bit and this can be a little bit annoying to some people. It's a little annoying to me. So what I've done is I've used the included USB-C to USB-A cable and then plugged it into the back of my Tilter V-Lock plate and secured it that way just so it doesn't move as much as you can see here. The biggest downside to this is that the FI is now directly in front of the power button and it can get in the way of the media slot depending on how it is resting or sitting with the FX6. So they're not deal breakers to me, they're just something to be aware of. So if I'm trying to turn on and off the camera, I'm not pulling it out and disconnecting it or anything like that. Uh, it's just a little thing to be aware of, not a deal breaker. The only thing that I find that is close to being a deal breaker is the latency. Yes, there is a slight delay between what the FX6 is recording and what I hear in my AirPods. It's not a massive problem when I'm recording interviews or scenes with audio, but as soon as I want to start talking to talent on set or the director or producer, I then find that I want to take the AirPods out because I can hear the slight delay and it's a little annoying when I'm trying to have a back and forth conversation. An easy solution for this would have been just to have a button on the AirPods that I could push to mute them and to turn off any audio. However, after doing a quick Google search, I found that the AirPods don't have this feature included and that's not an option to solve the problem. So if I do find that I can't have a smooth conversation with people due to the audio delay and it just being too distracting and annoying, I just take the AirPods out and put them in my pocket. And hopefully I don't lose them. 
I'm not too sure how to measure the latency accurately, but if I was to describe it, I would say that it is noticeable and usable. However, it is enough to be slightly frustrating and annoying. So should you purchase the AirFly? Well, if latency is a problem for you, then I think you're right now stuck with wide headphones. However, if you can get past that, I really do feel that the AirFly is a solid option for right now. And I say right now because technology is moving so fast these days that the next camera that gets announced by Sony or Panasonic or Canon or whoever might have this new standout feature which now finally enables Bluetooth to be able to sync and pair with our AirPods. And that would be a great selling feature going forward if they solve the latency problem as well. In my opinion, the AirFly is an affordable option to enable this feature. And I purchased this off Amazon for under $100 and had it the very next day. And because I did purchase this item through Amazon, I did know that I could return the item for a full refund if it didn't meet my expectations. So it was a low risk purchase and ultimately I am satisfied with this product. However, it would be nice if the latency wasn't there entirely. Hopefully in the future, more camera manufacturers start including this feature in their cameras. I personally didn't know of any cameras that did support Bluetooth audio. However, one user on Instagram did comment on my post saying that the Ari Amira does support Bluetooth audio monitoring. So hopefully this feature does start to come out on more and more cameras and hopefully more affordable cameras as well. And that's the video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation in the future.